Hi, my name is Dr. Tian Xia. I'm the inventor and the creator of TX360, the device. Uh, this device was created back in 2008. This FD cleared for commercialization in the United States in 2010. This video is to show you how to use this device properly. You open a box. Within each box, there will be an instructional manual. Each box will come with 10 sets of the devices. Each set include a device and also a syringe. We will put a box aside. I will demonstrate how to use the entire set of device. The first movement you will do is open up the syringe and then open up the device. The syringe is pre-limited at 0.6 cc. Okay, you will feel resistance beyond 0.6 cc capacity. The reason this is the case is because, first of all, the device will deliver the fluid extremely accurately and precisely right onto the sphenoparting foramen, therefore, you only need a 0.3 cc on each side. This, that's the reason why this device, the syringe, is limited to 0.6 cc of capacity. There's a shipping clip at the very end of the syringe. This sh shipping clip will need to be removed after you fill up the entire syringe. Please always alcohol wipe your bottle. Make sure everything is thorough. The syringe is specially designed to be used with TX360 device, but the syringe can also be used with any other drawing needle. So here's a regular 18 gauge drawing needle. This is an 18 gauge needle for the easiness of drawing medications. You will draw medication as usual, but you will not be able to fill the entire syringe. What you will need to do is to take out all the air refill the syringe to its capacity at 0.6 cc this limit ensures you that we only deliver 0.3 cc of fluid per nostril minimized amount of fluid is critical in patient comfort is important in is also important in terms of lessen potential complications and side effects. The reason why you only need 0.3 cc of fluid is because at this volume with this device, is this device is precise enough, even with a, such a small volume, to perform of what this device intended to do. There is a small clip at the very end of the syringe. Before you perform the procedure, you need to remove this small shipping clip. You remove it by putting two thumbs on the clip. Okay, we'll push on the clip gently. The clip will drop out. Now here's a syringe. You will connect the syringe onto the TX360 device by gently rotating right onto it until you hear a click. And once you hear a click, this device at the uh, finger rest, the syringe will be at 12 and 6 o'clock position. So now this device is locked uh, with a syringe. Okay. At this point, you're going to grab both syringes and the device and the push syringe into the device gently. You feel and hear a small click. Do not push too far. Okay. Now, if you accidentally push too far, which is the most common mistake, if you actually push too far in, in this case, okay, all you have to do is gently rotate the syringe and turn the ear of syringe onto a track. Okay. And so let's pretend we didn't do that. Let's say we did this properly. Okay. We're at the very beginning. 
So at this point, before you perform the procedure onto an uh, inpatient's nostril, you will predetermine which side. The device will show you two tracks underneath. There's one track for patient's right nostril, second track for patient's left nostril. The tracks are designed to enhance the stability and the accuracy of the entire procedure. You will gently push and rotate the syringe onto one track. So in this case, I've chosen my right side, which is the patient's left nostril. So now we're on the left track for the patient's left nostril. You can see the syringe is moving freely along the track without needing to hold it. When you push the syringe all the way to the end, you will feel a small click. At this point, you're at the very end. That's the point you can deploy your medicament. Okay, so we're going to show this on a, a human head model at this point. So in this case, this is the right side, this is human head model. So obviously when you perform this on patients, you'll be standing in front of the patient. In this case, for demonstration purposes, you're going to stand behind the patient. So with the syringe being rotated onto the track intended for the right sphenopiatine foramen, we will insert device into patient's nostril as much as you can. Remember this small handle is pointing at the 12 o'clock position at all times. This does not move. Once the device is into nostril, you push the device down as much as you can onto the floor of the nose. The floor of the nose is also your heart pallet. At this point, you're going to push the entire syringe down in a quick fashion. At the end, you feel a small push or click. At this point, you're going to deliver about a half of the syringe right onto the patient's right sphenopalatine uh, ganglion. Once this is performed, take the entire device out in a quick fashion. Now remember, the, medic the medication used will probably have a significant unpleasant taste. So a mint or lemon candy, a couple of candies will help to negate the taste of the medications. Also ask patient to blow the nose prior you perform procedure and the blow the nose right after you perform procedure on the right side, then the left side. Also ask patient to avoid swallowing. You are going to deliver less than 0.3 cc of fluid onto each sphenopartin foramen so the amount of medication is really, is really minimal. Okay? So now we have performed uh, the procedure on patient's right side. At this point, you're going to pull the syringe back to the beginning position, rotate and turn onto the track for patient's left side. Okay? So with patient sitting, you're going to insert this onto patient's left side. And for this, uh, in this instance, I'm going to open up the head model, I'm going to demonstrate how this actually works on patient left side. So once I, perf uh, at this point, you're going to do the same thing, push the, the device into the patient left nostril as much as you can, then push all the way down onto the hard pallet, which is your uh, floor of the nose. At this point, with this direction already chosen for patient left side, you're going to simply push the whole syringe all the way down to the end. Once at the end, there's, you're going to feel a small click that's going to hold the syringe at the very end. At this point, you're going to deploy the rest of the fluid right onto the left sphenopalatin foramen. The whole procedure is now finished. You take the device out of patient nostril in instant and easy fashion as patient to blow their nose. As you can see, the fluid is being sprayed right onto the right and the left sphenopartin foramen. Which exists right behind the middle turbinant on each side of the nostril. Okay? Now because of gravity, the fluid had to drip down on both sides. This further demonstrates even at 0.3 cc it's important to ask patient to blow their nose after you perform procedure on each side. I have just demonstrated the proper use of TX360 device to deliver medicament of choice 
onto sphenopalatine foramen, and then onto sphenopalatine ganglion. This is a very simple procedure to perform. It would take just a few seconds to perform for the proper condition on the proper patient. Thank you.